Hello, good day to everyone, and I welcome you to the another episodes on mold flows, tips, and workflow. In this episode, probably I am going to take you through the key announcements that Autodesk development team has done in in mold flow 2023. Well, there are several announcements, but in this episode, we will start with the some of the key announcements which are directly impacting our productivity workflow and ease of use at the same times we can able to represent the results or interpret the results in a much simpler form so with that probably let's get started one of the key announcements that you are able to see in autodesk mold flow 2023 is how we represent the 3d grill elements now, these type of grill elements part or the parts with having a number of repetitive type of you know features, we often refer, refer them as grills, uh, would be able to find it into the uh, components used in the electronic industries, particularly in semiconductor industries. And the example that you see on your screen uh, is from the LCP Intel CPU socket from Foxconn and uh, it's, it's a collaboration project that uh, Autodesk team has worked with the uh, Salences. So what, what uh, how we represent these complex elements uh, uh, with the 2023 release? Probably before the 2023 release, uh, if I need to do a analysis, I would have been done onto the full blown model like you see on your screen on our right hand side. And with the number of features, it increases the number of elements counts as well. And I'll show you example in few minutes that how, you know, I try to, you know, analyze a full blown model and roughly it took me like an 10 to 11 hours on a, a very similar components. But if I, represent the same elements in a much simplified form with the new 3d element attributes i was able to do it in a three hours time or so so approximately uh, what we are trying to do is to capture the effect of those repetitive pattern or holes in a simplified geometry and this can be well you know synergize or comparable with the filling pattern what we see in a blow, full blown model pressure is quite able to map it as well as the temperature and frozen layer pattern as well fiber orientations can be well captured with these uh, 3d grill elements attributes as well and also it can be extended to the wall so it is a much easier way of representing the CAD model with less number of nodes and elements and of course as I mentioned that I could able to solve it much faster as compared to the full blown model and so as I am also reducing down my memory requirement as well and probably this is a good example what you see on your screen where I try to compare a, a full blown model and you can see that the filling patterns to extend are are comparatively matched or fully matched i would not say and they are a hundred percent match probably they are like 97 98 percent to the close approximities also how is the pressure represented well i could able to get a you know very close vicinity of the full blown model not exactly matching but of course 50 you know MPA versus 54 MPA there would be a certain you know you know assumptions that the 3d grill elements will make as compared to the full blown model but where I am coming is that in terms of the computation models so probably if you have like an you know a mesh type of anything something like the electronic equipments has a mesh and uh, you want to analyze it and see the filling pattern in the mesh um, for the ventilation purpose or so you need not to model a 3d uh, full model it could be represented with a simplified model as you see on your screen let's understand the workflow how do we go and try to implement on the mesh 
you know when you are working on a uh, more flow 2023 any of the mesh if you right click on attributes onto the page of the element or the part 3d element you will see a new dialog box or the new uh, menu that is coming up is the cross sectional shape 3d uh, and then by default it would be a flat and then you can have option of like hey i selected this much of the portion now i can convert this portion into grill with round elements or the you know grill with the square elements and so and so forth so this is an example that i try to show it is for the cross section shape that is grilled with the round elements so you do have an option of like choosing a through through hole or a blind hole and you can define the through through hole will not it's no way it's like a completely hole so we will not be asked for the depth but if it is a blind hole then you will probably ask then the distance between the holes i'm not talking about the distance between the like the center to center but it is the distance between edge to edge then the diameter of the hole and how accurately are you able to represent it actually in perfection in the round hole sometimes you know we have the holes that are little elliptical you know uh, that may be a, like in a combination of the squarish and, and the circular hole or so something something that if you're not able to represent it very properly you can put the imperfect, imperfect you know uh, round hole that I'm not able to represent it completely I'm using an imperfect so you are adding the error to it actually okay and the example that I'm going to show it is on to the speaker grill again um, where uh, development team has worked on it and they were you know more than happy to share the model with us for this demonstration and on to the extreme left hand side you'll see a full blown model and the induction injection pressure needed is for 135 mpa and the model with an you know no holes it is just a flat model but obvious you will not see the retardation of the filling pattern uh, as you see because of these grill holes over here and the pressure requirement of course would be less and now we have represent a same model with the 3d grill element attributes and uh, the pressure requirement is pretty very close to that of the full flow model so with that probably let's get started i will show you the de actual demonstrations and the comparison between and how do we go and assign those uh, element properties as well so this is what i was referring it to the uh, model um, it's uh, like a speaker grill with a uh, lot of you know repeated you pattern of those small circular holes and i meshed it quite fine so i created around like you know 83 lakh elements so or more the, sorry yeah something around like you know 8.3 million elements roughly actually yes that's correct 8.3 million elements that i created to represent this model and you probably know that how long now it is going to take a to run this type of analysis as i mentioned that i run it on a full-blown model and i run it on to the cloud it's to take like you know nine hours actually uh, to run the uh, these simulation it's quite a big model also let's look at the filling pattern uh, and uh, filling pattern as you can see as i showed it into the presentation as well uh, it takes some little bit of time to load as well that's more like the memory consumption is happening between the couple of apps uh, running and uh, if you go into the results and try to see that how the filling is happening and you probably notice that it's flow lags over here actually just like you know uh, it's forming like a bell curve type of thing which goes uh, down and then up and then again down also and these are the areas that are last to fill and i represented a very similar thing now in this case the holes that are like you know 
that's what I was referring is that the distance between the hole is the no edge to edge distance in this case this will be and then the diameter and how well I am able to represent these holes are absolutely these holes are circular so there is no error in it and I created a um, very similar model try to create a actually a you know cut out or something uh, which will able to understand for or give a cut to the you know face so that you will be able to select these elements much better way uh, in a uh, non you know represented or circular or a flat model also and we have to select the elements till half of this actually so you have to select the elements till half of this one till this particularly this area you have to select the elements when you are assigning the attributes to the to the non uh, you know non circular or flat model also so that is the best practices and all of these things are mentioned into the validation document and where you will find the validation documents is on the on to the forum moleflow inside forum where uh, product manager Hano has uploaded the validation document one would be for the entire solver uh, announcements and other would be the moleflow 2023 3d grill element uh, validation documents so let's go and select these elements and let's see what is the attributes assigned to it so i selected these and properties and uh, i see the properties as i said that by default okay let me take you through this one if i have the uh, plane model with it no attributes assigned now with the 2023 release probably you will able to see a little change into this uh, dialog box that comes or appears Okay, you'll be able to see that now the cross section here is a flat cross section actually. Okay, so you should be a flat and then you can change it to the grill with the square holes or the grill with the round holes or other shape. So I have selected in this case the model with the only I selected this area and I assign the attributes as the grill with the round holes and you can edit the parameters we have. of course it's a through through hole and the distance between the hole is 3 and the diameter of the hole is 5 and I am able to exactly represent that those uh, round holes so with that probably let's look at the filling pattern how does it looks like and uh, of course we saw that this was the areas to fill last whether we will be able to see the same thing over here as i push the filling pattern back yes and i could able to see that yes uh, this is the areas and i could able to you know you know properly create that bell curve as well as i mentioned that it's like an it's down and then goes up and then come again and very much sure I would not say exactly I'm matching it but very close to it approximately like uh, you know 95 to 97 percent I'm able to match that exactly let's do a comparison 101 and how does it look like um, so push it back and uh, I will lock the all the plots and I will lock all the views as well and uh, let's see that how does it looks like and pushing back on this one of the will not go and uh, have a look at the each of the results but of course let's say like at one second what's happening over here okay i'll close to that one second yes and i could able to see that okay view lock all the views should be able to zoom in yes i'm able to zoom in as well and I can able to see that yes I'm able to exactly replicate the same pattern of that lagginess of the flow along the sides and the flow rushes quite faster from the inside but still lags from the face. How about the pressure? 
So one-on-one -on -one comparison of the pressure is approximately 180 MPa because it's just like it is taking a longer time or uh, it's shooting high that's the reason probably uh, it's showing the 180 MPa but the one is the thing that I could able to match the net exactly but I will close to that matching of the you know pressure situation. So with that probably I will leave it to try to experiment more on to such models and see how it could be helpful for you to reduce down your efforts particularly I would say the analysis time from say 10 hours to down to I mean to say let's see the comparison between this one I could able to run it in approximately in one hour that versus the you know uh, no, it, not two hours probably versus almost like in you know, a 10 hours. So I could get able to see a very significant, you know, a difference into the uh, into the computation time and not much sacrificing on the results. So next time probably we will come with uh, some more announcements and see which are directly impacting our workflow. So with that, uh, take care of self and uh, talk to you again. Bye.